Hello everyone, welcome back for another video. Today I will be showcasing my Grixis reanimation dragons for standard M2020 event, in which, except for the long way the name, is also a very cool deck, which of course has reanimation with blood for bones and bond of revival. And how do we activate those? Well, we activate it through rotting Regisaur and two bound leads. Now, of course, to reach the point where we can reanimate stuff, we need to control our opponent. And how do we do that? With Thought Eraser, Anger's Rampage, Cry the Carnarium, and Ritual of Shoot. Now, what are we reviving? Dragons like Skargon Hellkite, Nifmiz Reborn, uh, Nifmiz Parun, and Dragoseth Ma of Flames. Now all these are big boys that do a lot of damage and have very cool effects on their own. But we also run some other interesting cards like Kalia Zenith Seeker as a one-off, just in case we can want to get a dragon in our hands and just play it out. But I just really want to play this card in all honesty because I haven't played with it yet. Uh, we also have some Sarkhan, uh, Sarkhan the Masterless, which will either create a dragon or well, it becomes a 4-4 flyer, which will deal a lot of damage, and it has the nice clause that whenever a creature attacks us or a planeswalker, if we have dragons, they take one damage for each of those dragons. And of course we have the dragon god planeswalker himself, Nicholas Bolas. Well, for obvious reasons, he's the dragon god. It's in the name, you know? <laughs> and apart from that, our mana base, of course, is over here with four water graves, four uh, blood for creeps, and if you had four steam vets and four temples of empathy, you put those inside as well. Now, without any further delay, let's go play some of that standard end. All right, let's go to our first run. Let's see what we can make out of this recording session. Oh boy. Oh boy. So this video will probably be a very short video, or a quite short video, because I really don't have too much time to play the game. This hand is absolutely awful, since we just don't have a blue mana here. This is fine, because we don't need the blue mana. And I'm gonna get rid of Nif Miz adjusting, since I can put Dragoseth on the graveyard, which is what we want. Oh good, oh boy. This does artifact, right? Yep. No reason to hit ourselves with the damage. Bond of Revival was, does not feel too good for my, for my blood. Just gonna get rid of that uh, Planeswalker. Just don't want it. Just don't want it in all honesty. Let's get it out. Maybe we'll see some blue mana here. Who knows. Oh, it's a Kemphet. I love that card so much. I just don't really think it matters at this exact point in time to um, suck ourselves for the tomb for no reason. It's like, oh, play tomb ball, it's why. They could, um, no, they can't actually mill themselves, they don't, she can't fit wall. Maybe we'll get a thud reason? At this point, it's, it, it feels like I will play Drago Seth before anything else. <laughs> right, that's pretty good. They will, no matter what, immediately play, play Kemphet. So at this point, the best play is to Thought Rage or something important. Alright, um, 
Each player puts the top four cards of their library in the graveyard. You have two instants or social cards from the graveyard to your hand. I will get rid of uh, the I will. How much mana is this? We have this is a seven mana, and we have six mana. So I'm gonna keep that and just play Dragoseth. In all honesty, I'm just gonna keep that and play Dragoseth, baby. <laughs> really? That's a little bit. Of oh, oh, right. Since they uh, can, are able to do that, huh? Oh my god, two and Blood for Bones or Bone of Revival here. This boy does work too. This boy does really good work too. Sure. I played him with a counter because it goes above, enter the God Eternals, and it also is uh, super able, Mats. To kill uh, anything they play, basically. And in all honesty, at this point, we might just be able to just kill them <laughs> with their procs. Oh my voice. Scargan Hellkite, the good boy. The good boy. Thank god they don't have enough mana to do all their stupid plays. Oh boy, this is good, this is good. Alright, so, uh, they get down to 8-8 eight, eight speed and we can deal 2, 4, 6 damage to them. So, we win? Maybe we win. There's a very high chance that we can win. There's a very high chance we can win. Especially with Dragoseth. Since I don't believe they can mill me that fast. They will probably play Bond of Insight to play another uh, Enter the God Eternals, if I had to guess. No? It's very interesting. It's actually the first interesting game I played all day. Sorry my voice is um, constantly being destroyed and ruined. It's the bad weather, it's uh, kind of giving, getting to me. Which is the worst thing about recording when it's uh, fall and winter is that my voice is completely ruined. And the bad thing about spring is that I am full of allergies. <laughs> so yeah, do excuse my voice. Alright, so we're playing versus the AIDS old Roper. I will be honest with you. I just don't really believe that you have the most... Super crazy play. Oh boy, we lost every single play. Alright, they went us to 18. They get Thought Razor. They can't play that now. They got Enter the God Eternals, which is the important part for them. Devil of Epiphany isn't something I wanted either, but mech. Sure. Alright, so, red mana, blue mana, submit, submit. Oh, it's four mana. It's four mana? Really? Oh, I'm so stupid. We, we can still win if they can't manage to kill us, but, oh boy, that was so stupid of me. If they play Enter the God Eternals, we still win. There's a very high chance we get mana here. It's good. If we actually no, we win. Oh yeah, we win. We win? Oh we win. Alright, cool. Good game. Oh I'm so stupid. I thought it was two mana for some reason. I was remembering uh Skarga Hellkite with the um Alchemist assistance, you know, that card that makes it too less to activate, activate abilities. Oh boy, super close game. Can't believe we actually won this. Versus, um... How is it called? This weird control thing.
Oh boy! Oh boy. Finally a win. I'm so happy. Oh my goodness. Alright, on to the next game and if you want to support me through this terrible day of recording, of trying to record, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell because it's very very helpful and we're almost to 200 subscribers which means we are one fifth, we will be one fifth away from a thousand which is a huge milestone that I want to for sure achieve. So yeah, that would be very cool of you. Alright, a lot of, uh, quite better hands, uh, we're not gonna keep Skargan. Even though Skargan is very good, it's like we can auto keep it this early. To m like these three cards are just so much better. Killer of the Glade. Excuse me. All right. So we have quite a few good cards here, which is what I like to see. Well, this is um. Not what I like to see. Cavalier is something I want to get rid of, but um, in all honesty, I don't think I need uh, the swamp in drawing since we can get something from either natural drawing mana or from Dubon Leech, if I had to guess. So here they play Temple of Epiphany, and they are. One turn being uh, stopped again, if I had to guess. Delayed. Oh no, they play the Lifkin Druid. The thing though with the Lifkin Druid is that it cannot, um, cannot give anything else than green mana. So, for their hand, I don't think that 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 that. Okay. Sure. That's a dragon god that we need two more mana to find to play, but yeah, that's a dragon god. <laughs> oh boy, that's a dragon god. Oh, we really need our mana here now. Oh boy, V. Hey, it's real nice. That's really nice. That's really nice. That's Nicholas Bolas Dragon God coming in hot as a motherfucker. All right, so I've never played this card, by the way. This is the first time I ever played Nicholas Bolas Dragon God. I just crafted for this deck, so I didn't even get it from uh, you know. I'm gonna not play this turn, I guess. Am I? Let me check this out. Alright. Mm -hmm. No, we're gonna kill the Planeswalker. And we're gonna play Dragon God next turn, which I feel like is a lot smarter from us. Especially if this is not something super strong. Great. I would love to see a creature, so I don't... That's completely useless! Alright. We will play Dragon God here. Uh, it will go uh, down too, unfortunately. Um, how much HP? To 2 HP, but we have double Bond of Revival, which is a little bit insane. Okay, cool. They both attack Dragon God, of course. Drago Seth, all right. So I play Bond of Revival into Tombbound Lich. <laughs> Tombbound Lich get rid of Drago Seth, and Drago Seth then actually. Comes in with the Bond of Revival and ends the game. That's... And we get Nicholas Bolas to survive. Wow. Wow. 
finally the reanimation combo is alive I am beyond supremely happy oh my goodness good game brother good game brother Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, oh my god, Dragoseth. So powerful versus their deck. I cannot believe I actually managed to win two games in a row in this recorded session. After so long, I'm so happy. Yeah, I told you today's been a very difficult recording day. And it's not like the deck is that bad. Of course, I had to take out the uh, angel, demon, dragon thing. That uh, Mardu colored, you know, thing. And added one more cry, the Carnarium. And add more black mana, which I will saw at the end, of course, like always. But it's not a bad deck. It says that I had a lot of bad luck with it. Dragoseth. Should I just... Yeah, I should probably keep Dragoseth to throw in the graveyard. Because we saw what happens when you vote of revival with Dragon Set. Alright, we have uh, quite a few options here. Quite a few options. I think I'm more inclined to play uh, Rotting Ridge of Sour when I have something to get rid from my hands, like uh, Dragon Set. Just because it amasses more pressure. If that's a. Uh, is it amasses or. Demands or something. All right. I have to keep that. It uh, delays us a turn, but it also enables anchor. I mean, we can still play anchor as rampage. It's not like somebody's stopping us. Um. I don't want that. In all honesty. All right. Well, probably just they will probably play uh, the Glar Black Rhino. Oh, so this is the card that enables Green to draw cards. Oh, okay. I was wondering which was that card, but I never uh, searched for it because I f keep forgetting of it. So yeah. Uh, we really don't want this to survive at this point, so we're just gonna insta-kill it. We do have uh, Tomb of Leads and Rotting Ridge Star, and nobody's really rushing us to play this out badly, or, you know, we don't really need to rush right now, we can just do it. Oh boy. Alright, Lifkin Druid enables something, I'm not really sure. I would love to see... Hmm. I guess I'm gonna play uh, Rotting Ridge of Sour and Thud Rage or something later on. But I really need to start getting more mana. I really need mana here, especially black mana. Alright, so uh, I think this is the best time to literally play Thud Rager. Yes, yeah, it probably have played Thud Razor, huh? I think Dragon Seth deals with that, but that takes us back quite a little bit. I think I have to play two ball leads at this point, huh? Try to get our fifth mana going. Alright, two ball leads has to come down here. Good. I need to get my fifth mana, like, right now. I need fifth mana and, um,. Bond of Revival or Blood of Bones to get my Drago sh I should have played the Thud Rager a little bit earlier, huh? Or actually should have been playing two bound leads since I saw that I was losing out. Let's see what they do. Alright, uh, if 
Oh, we can't play Drago God for a long time. Oh god, this is bad juju. Bad juju. If they're smart, they will play the dog thing. Giant growth. And just win the game from there. I have to block with uh, Rotting Ridges Hour no matter what. The only way I win is literally drawing a mana and getting the um, getting Dragoseth with uh, yeah. There's only one way to win, and there's no way I get that. Guess that was a very big mistake there, not playing the Thought Razor on the Riddle Master, because I believe Riddle Master is quite a little bit more scary than I would like to. Yep, and this is the end. Unfortunate. I guess it, I should have been... Okay, that was my mistake, because I guess I'm not... I didn't think of it through, but... I should have been playing to Bound Leech to get the mana, and I should have played Thud Razor faster. Sure. That was totally an unavoidable situation that I played terribly in. But this is a very good hand that I enjoy. That if we can see a Dragoseth, that would be cool as well. As well... Uh, we need like two mana draws, one black mana and one whatever mana, and we should be good. Oh boy. I should have played. No, no, I played correctly. Okay, cool. I played the mana correctly. Um, Alright, so I'm looking for a removal spell. Oh, shh. Ah, this might just not end well. They get rid of Thud Razor, for sure. Hey, that's Dragoseth. <coughs> so we play Rotting Regisar, we get rid of Dragoseth, and we pray to anything that we... Uh... Alright, they got rid of the Drago God. They are drawing really well the duresses, holy stuff. Oh, come on, I have 24 mana. Give me mana, please. Don't let it end in two wins. Please give me mana. Oh my goodness, stop hating on me, game. Like, just give me mana. Oh my god. Mana, please. Just give me mana. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Dude. It's one more mana. I can play literally any of my three cards with one more mana. Like, it's insane. You have like... <laughs> you're literally running 24 lands and you're not allowed to get mana. It's a little bit too insane for my blood. Mana, please. Please. Thank you. Jesus. Christ. Yes. Finally. Yes. Mana. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Jeez. I'm so happy. Pretty sure we can out control them from here. With Dragoseth coming in. Oh boy. Yes. The third win. I'm so happy. Fuck you, but. <clears throat> Alright. Still, pretty sure we can out control them. <laughs> Dragoseth, come forth! Oh, we right! Yes! Yes! <laughs> we even have Sarkhan! I don't care, the duress is useless. There's nothing useless like you. Yes! I can't believe we won. I can't believe Gunther wins finally. After these horrible days been going on for so long, we finally got it. I'm so happy. I really wanted this deck to get the wins. Oh my god, as you can see, I literally have a hundred of the bow pass. So it's not like it matters, but I am so beyond happy that we got to finally work. I know that we didn't get to play the, um, the all the dragons, but I promise you that not the next, but after that video, I will make a full on Grixus reanimation dragons deck with um, Stitcher Supplier. 
drafting all those cards to make sure that we get all, see all those cool combinations but for this time the deck was for you know the event and yeah it's a pretty cool deck it's it sometimes feels like you get betrayed by your own cards by not drawing mana through variants or just like not drawing into removal fast enough but when it works it's beautiful and it literally feels so good to play Dragoseth and Drag and Nicholas Bolas and stuff like that. So yeah, thank you all so much for being in this journey. It was a very really difficult one, but we actually made it. And what can I say that hasn't been said this video? The changes I did was I got rid of the um, the angel that was here, put in Cry the Carnarium, and took out one mountain and one island put two swamps in their place to make sure that we get more black mana and yeah that was it for the deck now I did promise to a fan that wait a second I will get a name that I would showcase of uh, not showcase but talk a little bit so this one Apple Punk because I am very bad at remembering names uh, Send me all uh, we jokingly, uh, jok he jokingly said that, or he, see, I don't know, uh, said that I should make a feather zero rare deck list. And I was like, yeah, when you make it, you know, send it over to me. And they were like, all right, here it is. And they sent me a similar to this deck list uh, that I saw, and I was like, it's not Feather, because it doesn't have Feather, but it has all the other creature cards from Feather, like uh, 10th District Legionnaire, and, I mean, cards, sorry, not creature cards, like 10th District Legionnaire, Defiant Strike, God's Willing, Summon Spirit, you know, stuff like that, and I thought it was a pretty cool idea, in all honesty, and if the next video is not the Feather Zero Rare decklist, um... I would like to say that it was a really cool idea and I'm really proud when the community comes together and people create decks that they think of. It's like I don't want people to just <clears throat> I don't want people to just wait everything for me and being handed, you know. I want them to think of it and create their own decks. And if you want send them the decks to me and I will give you my opinion, we'll talk about it and I will showcase it at the end of the videos or make a video of it if I really really like it. But yeah, today I had a video with uh, the Greek and Mason Drakes. There was no reason not to do it because I really liked it. But yeah, pretty cool that I saw somebody finally make a deck and send it over to me. Especially a deck that I was like, no, nah, it's not possible. And they just proved me wrong with an idea. And yeah, that was really cool. I love seeing it. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And as always, comment down below with anything and everything you want to talk about. I answer to every single comment, even though YouTube sometimes might notify you, not notify you. I also have all these decks into playlists, and I also have a Twitter you can follow me on where I post quite regularly. Uh, apart from that, I would like you all to have a great day. Hope you're having fun at school. Hope you're having a great time at work. I'll see you all next time. Take care. Bye.